fourth round highlights from the Web.com Tour's final stage of Q School held at PGA National in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. Remember, there are six rounds to the final stage, so two rounds to go. And we will take a look at Mark Silvers. What a difference a day can make. Entered the day at one over par, and that hole pop was correct. He entered the 17th at nine under par, a 10 under 62 for Silvers. Completely turned it around, taking him from pretty much out of contention of earning status in the web.com tour to right there in the mix. He had a bogey free 10 under 62. That was for birdie on the 17th, but he would have to settle for par and finishing with a beautiful 10 under 62. What a way to go under so much pressure. Michael Hebert now just burns that left edge for an eagle miss. Taps in for Burry, though, to move it to seven under par. He's 11 under overall, heading into round five. Andrew Landry, his second shot on the par five from just off the green. And he goes on and drains that for birdie. Coming off birdie on two, so he went birdie eagle. And he's in a tie for fourth with 36 holes to go at 12 under par. He's tied with this man, Hunter Hamrick, Alabama alum. This is also on the third and stuffs it to an inch. He would go on to tap in for birdie there. He's also at 12 under thanks to Sunday's 68. And then Ted Purdy, the past PGA Tour winner and Web.com Tour winner, missed his birdie there but finishes at 13 under in solo third. Rick Cochran, a name you should be familiar with. He held the lead after 36 holes, trying to chase down Brad Frisch, but will have to make more birdies than he did on Sunday at 2 under 69. He's at 14 under in solo second, but still six back of our 72 hole leader. Canadian Brad Fritch has bounced back and forth between the PGA Tour and the Web.com Tour. And first place and ties earns full Web.com Tour SAS for next season while he leads by six as he taps in his par save there on the third. And we will stay with Fritch as we head over to the 10, sitting at 17 under par to this point leaves himself a long eagle look to jump to 19 under par so fritch trying to extend his lead as much as possible knowing there's still 36 holes to go and anything can happen he taps in for his birdie here from about three feet out to get to 18 under par birdie 17 and 18 to get to 20 under par that's back-to-back -back 65s for your leader